welcome back everyone in this video we'll see uh, another few methods and uh, methods for uh, strings uh, such as find method replace method and uh, strip method so let's get started with the video right away so first one is the strip method uh, sometimes what we do is uh, sometimes when a user gives a input sometimes see uh, let's say a computer is asking me a question using an input function so when in uh, when your user is giving an input what it does is sometimes it gives extra spaces or anything extra characters which are not required which are not the actually required output so uh, what we can do is uh, we can uh, remove all these uh, means unwanted characters using the strip method let's say uh, let's look up uh, let's look uh, at the l strip method by l strip method means l strip uh, left strip methods so whatever uh, the extra characters are inside in the left side of the uh, input given it will remove all those characters for example let's say i have a variable uh, name favorite subject that is fav underscore sub uh, which is asking uh, which is asking me that what is your favorite subject okay so when i execute this cell let's say i want to write drilling this time but let's say uh, i have given the spaces few spaces this time and then i have written drilling okay so when i print this when i print uh, the variable favorite subject what it gives me you can see these are there are some extra spaces in the left side of the drilling which are not required because we just need drilling we not re uh, we don't need that uh, extra space so we can remove this using l strip method what we can do is simply write uh, our variable name that is fab underscore sub just write dot uh, and l strip name of your method that is l strip and then just write the just uh, execute this one now you see now you see the all the extra spaces have been removed right but original variable variable does not change as i told you earlier in a few methods also such as title upper or lower so if i again print my fav dot sub underscore sub it is still same but we can get the results using l strip method our uh, space bar has been extra space bar is uh, space bars has been uh, removed from there right uh one more thing we can do is uh, this uh, this L strip method does not only remove the space bar; it removes any leading characters. Uh, by default, it is a space bar. See, uh, we haven't given any input inside this L strip method in this parenthesis. It means by default, it will uh, only look for space bars to get it removed. Okay, but let's say uh, I have another variable from name where, and uh, my output required is only Python. Okay, I just need Python. But it consists of these extra characters here, these dots, uh, this var, uh, var character, uh, this uh, dashes, and this uh, forward slashes. So I need to remove these uh, extra characters. So I can, uh, what I can do is just simply write the name of a variable var, use the l strip method that is dot l strip, and now inside inside this uh, parenthesis which was empty before because it if it is empty it means it is a space bar it will delete the space bar but a space bar but uh, this time we don't have space bar we need another so character to remove what you do is just input all the characters inside this parenthesis is inside uh, uh, these uh, single quotes or double quotes so my forward slash is there so i will put it once uh, i have this uh, dash there so i will put it once again and I have a character on var and I have also a dot just input everyone everyone here and just uh, now uh, execute the cell okay I haven't executed this cell before just a second now see everything has been removed everything has been removed uh, but one thing to uh, note down here is that uh, I have I have mentioned all the characters which I need to remove this is not necessary that uh, this should be in any specific order i can rearrange the order as well so here in this case let's say i have uh, i have rearranged all the orders so in this case v is there a is there and it is not in a in the same order as, as in the variable var but this time also it will uh, remove all of them so order is not necessary here correct so similarly we can also go for r strip uh, same methodology tried by your own self uh, i'll not uh, give example of r strip here 
and uh, once again yes we can also do one thing we can also use multiple methods in one go uh, let's say uh, uh, what i can do is uh, i'll print var again okay print for now i want to remove this as well what i what i want is i want to remove these extra characters plus uh, i want to uh, get all the python characters of python here on the upper letters so what i can do is simply i can use uh, this uh, method l strip method plus we can also go for higher upper method as well after the l strip what have line so this will give me the required output see so all the extra spaces extra characters have been removed by l strip and what upper method is doing after remove uh, after the l strip has removed all those uh, what upper uh, is doing here uh, it is uh, just uh, making all the characters in the caps lock that is a uh, capital p capital y and extract line etc so now let's get to uh, the find and replace method uh, find and replace method you know what find and replace method does in computers it will do same in the python let's say i have a variable name additive and it consists of a string that a bentonite is used to increase the density of drilling mud okay but i have after creating this variable i realized that uh, okay i have uh, given the wrong statement bentonite not bentonite actually barite is used to increase the density not bentonite so what i can do is i'll replace the bentonite with barite okay so uh, replace bentonite with barite so additive you could write additive dot replace here and then in the brackets here first you write what you want to replace okay so here i write bentonite and after the comma you write what you want to replace it with that is i want to write here barite now if you execute the cell now it will see it will print me that barite is used to increase the density of drilling mud correct i hope you are getting what i'm saying uh, now once again once again if i print additive variable the original will not be changed original is still there so if you want to change the original original variable what you can do is you can just simply write additive let's say 2 make it 2 and then you write this code here right so now after replacing uh, in the additive uh, i have added i have added that result in the new variable called additive 2 so now if i print the additive 2 if i print the additive 2 it will give me uh, that barite is used so it has been changed understood clear very simple now let's say i have another uh, variable called drill mud so uh, drill mud states that a uh, drilling mud is used to lubricate the bit uh, this mud also helps us to achieve a pressure over balance and drill mud also helps us in uh, lift and drill cuttings everyone is everything is fine okay uh, let me print it here again that i print drill mud okay fine not no not an issue but what i want to do is just to show you just to give you a good example what i want to do you uh, what i want to do here is that i want to replace uh, this mud with fluid so instead of drilling mud it will be coming as a drilling fluid so simply what i can do uh, drill mud that is my variable name dot replace method i want to replace mud i want to replace it with fluid correct so now everywhere uh, where it was mud a drill mud it has been changed to fluid here it was this mud here it is this fluid here it was drill mud here it was here it is drill fluid okay so this will this will replace all the mud with fluid okay but what if i want to just replace only first mud is there any option is there any methodology available yes there is let's say i want to just replace this mud with fluid and no i don't want to change any other thing here so what i can do is you can simply write the same code that is uh, drill mud dot replace uh, here you can write mud here you will write fluid again you can uh, give a comma and then you just write a one okay so what if what this one will means that uh, whenever it encounters the first value of mud it will only replace that mud with fluid 
okay so here you can see that the first mud has been replaced by fluid but here here everywhere everywhere else the mud is same that is mud has not been changed so similarly if i want to go for uh, two changes let us let's say i want to go for uh, change in the first two value of muds what i can do is you just simply write here two so this mud has been replaced with fluid this also mud has been replaced by fluid but this not has this has not been done okay so uh, this is uh, another uh, this is a good way to just selectively replacing and now let us look at uh, find method uh, let's say i want to find uh, now once again let's check if our uh, original is variable is same or it has been changed it will be same right original is same mud is there now let's say i want to find mud uh, the position of mud the index of the mud okay so what i can go for is uh, i go for drill mud that's my variable name i use find method here find and what i want to find is i want to find mud so what this nine means here is it means that the first value of mud which is which it is finding it is at the ninth index position so see this d is position of zero right index zero then r1 i2 l3 4 5 6 7 and this eighth position is of a space bar and the ninth position is of m so mud is starting from this m right that is why it is showing at the ninth index position that it is uh, mud the first value of mud is starting from the ninth index position okay now what you can uh, uh, one more thing you can do here is that if i if i go here and if you write uh, add a zero here what it means is that it will start finding the value of mud from the index position zero correct from the index position zero so we'll again get the same result here but let's say i want to find a new index value a new uh, i want to find the index value of second mud so in that case what i can do is just simply you can go for drilling mud dot find mud is fine now from where i want to start is if i if i start with any index position uh, before 9 less than 9 so it will definitely give me the uh, output of 9 because it will find the mud starting at 9 right so but i don't want that i just want uh, the second value of mud so any value after 9 any index position after 9 i want to start with so let's say i go with 10 so it will give me uh, it will start finding mud from the 10th index position and see here the 48 is the result it means that at the 48th index position i am finding the value of second mud now let's say i want to go for i am I, I want to find uh, the third position so what i can do is third uh, third position of mud is means uh, it means that this mud was starting from the ninth index this mud is starting from the 48th index now i want to find this index so any value i can write here after greater than 48 because after 48 let's say i type 49 so after 40 at 49 it will start looking for another mud so after going ahead from 49th it will just find my third value of mud that is at 105th index i hope you understand this um, once again okay let me summarize it with you so in this case in this case what we have done is we have we are starting we are starting to look for the first value of we are starting looking for the uh, mud at this position now from this position zero it means it is starting from here it is start looking for mud start looking for mud start looking for mud. it finds here if so it he finds it finds here so it stops here by self and it gives us the result of nine it means that this value of mud is starting from the ninth position now what i want to do is i know the my position of uh, first mud that is nine i want to find the second position of mud means i want to find the position of uh, second mud so now if i start anywhere before nine let's say i start from here here's here it will again stop here and it will again give me the value of nine but i i know the value of nine i know the value of this mud value that is nine so what i can do is instead i can start from here that is the u means after the mud after the 9 that is the value of 10th so it will start looking from the 10th index position so the 10th index position is this one and it is going and going and going and going and finding and finding and now it finds here it stops here so this is my uh, 
index position this will be my index position of second value of mud that is 48 and similarly we can go for the third i hope you understand the drill what i am trying to do here is so uh, these are some very important methods for strings and uh, uh, this is uh, more than enough uh, for string so uh, we'll wrap up the video uh, here only and i'll see you in the uh, next lecture thank you so much for joining